While we're on the topic of religion, let's talk about the Vatican. And the reason why we've gotten here, by the way, Christopher, is because we've, uh, we have uh, analysts and editorial writers like Colbert King and uh, Frank Rich who were painting a picture that caused us to really take a look at this and make sure it was being played out in a fair manner. Let's talk about the Catholic Church because there have been a lot of revelations over the past week. Uh, it appears the current pope may have known about the recent revelations of abuse of children at the, the hands of members of the clergy. And my question to you, especially since you've written about this and you say that justice is coming, you're not that much of a fan of a Catholic Church, um, do you think we need to be doing something in this country to address this? How do you think this is going to play out? Well, you mean, should we in this country, I mean, have you not read what's been happening in Wisconsin? Yes, I, I, I have. A school for children who can only use sign Correct. language. Correct. And 200, 200. of them have their, have their childhoods completely wrecked yeah. by this priest. And entreaties are addressed to the man who is now Pope, Cardinal Ratzinger, the man who was saying at the time that the only problem with the scandal was there was a press campaign against the church. The abuse was not the problem. Mr. The, the torture, the rape, the, the, the only, only the revelation of it Christopher was Elliman. the problem. Nothing happens except, except that he forgives the priest who asks for forgiveness before he dies. Let, let, let me ask you, This Christa is a scandal. Well, well, let me ask you about this. It is a scandal. Let me ask you, if you spend enough time in courtrooms in this country, <clears throat> invariably you see people charged on the edges of a crime with being an accessory, either before or after the fact. And for several years I've been wondering, in the example of Cardinal Law from Boston, who now yes. has a pretty terrific parish right outside the gates of the Vatican in Rome, <clears throat> why he <throat> and why should not the Pope be charged with being an accessory before or after the fact? Well, you take the wind out of my sails, Mike, as you have before. I mean, maybe you remember with our colleague and mutual friend Chris Matthews a few years ago I raised this question why isn't Cardinal Law being um, at least interviewed by the mm. forces of law and order and the same thought obviously occurred to the Cardinal and to the Vatican because he left the jurisdiction um, was given a sinecure in Rome he runs the, the service on Mar Maria Maggiore if I'm not mistaken mm -hmm. and hasn't been back since and voted in the election for the Vicar of Christ on Earth as Catholics call the Pope and I wrote then I believe now that the fatal taint went straight to the top at that point. And now we have, as the head of the church, someone who's personally as well as individually, excuse me, as well as institutionally responsible for knowing of this, covering it up, and protecting not the children, but the predators. Mm. So is is your sense, affair. Christopher, that, that there's a fundamental belief inside of the Catholic Church that they are truly above the law, that rape and torture inside of the Catholic Church is fine as long as it stays inside of the church? Do they actually believe that as far as you can tell? Well, I don't care whether they believe it or not. It's out of their hands now uh, that we have to find some... There must somewhere be in this country a district attorney or a prosecutor who will stand up for the children first and will not do as so many civil authorities have and give the church a free pass. Every other country that's allowed that, Ireland, Australia, now Germany, has bitterly regretted it. And there's no way now of preventing this from going to the to where it's metastasized, that's to say to the head of the church himself, who's also, I might add, the head of a state. So there's a legal question under the International Criminal Court whether he can travel. There's going to be a lot of trouble if he tries to keep his appointment and his visit to England in, this, in the fall. People are already getting ready with the law about that. It's no longer up to the church to decide this or how mm -hmm. to police itself. All it's good at is forgiving the criminals and ignoring the pleas of the victims. Christopher, when enough, do we... Enough of forgiveness. We need, um, we need justice here. Christopher, when do we reach a breaking point? The Catholic Church has weathered so many of these storms. We hear these stories once every couple of years, and they seem somehow to go away again. What's the breaking mm. point for the Church? The breaking point just came when it, was became, when it became obvious from reports from Munich and reports from Wisconsin and reports now from Verona in Italy that the, the man who is now calling himself the Pope was the person individually responsible he for was the also, cover uh, Christopher, he was also the first to really address it in a uh, internationally televised apology and to really talk about <laughs> it. The first Pope ever, I'm just no, saying. It doesn't, uh, <clears throat> doesn't come close to addressing it. You notice that um, all the reports of his pastoral letter to the Irish people reported the Irish people's disappointment that no one was asked even to resign, let alone to face uh, a jury on this. And they, they, they wondered, well, why does the Pope not ask for anyone to lose their job, at least, as a result of these atrocities? The answer is, if he does that, 
he's, he's calling for his own impeachment. That's right. Because if there are legal consequences, or if you can lose your job for, for knowing this and covering yes. it up, then he's the first in line for there it. You know. So it's not like the old slogans used to say, Vatican protects pedophiles. That was bad enough. All right. Christopher Hitchens? Or pederast rather than pedophiles. It's now the Pope personally. So please, let's from now on uh, act as if that's what the scandal is. Christopher Hitchens, thank you very much for being with us. Andrew Ross Sorkin, thank you as well. Thanks so much. <laughs>